right, here is the video review for Fans Hobby Master Builder MB-15B, their Black Naval Commander, obviously in a very Nemesis Prime reminiscent uh, Scourge, reminiscent cars coming. Nemesis Prime, I think, is what they went for back when Armada was airing. But yeah, uh, it's, we're not going to get super in-depth into this. We've seen this mold a couple times before now in various repaints. I still love this mold. I, it's... I really love the super mode on this, the posability of it, the chunkiness of it. I just, it's just got a really cool look to it, especially when you put on the all the uh, you know uh, jet fire and overload add-ons and bits and upgrades and stuff, um, all of which work with uh, this one as well. Although I'm not going to pull them all out and show them. Uh, and again, we're, we're not going to take a whole whole. Um, a lot of time covering each of the modes we're not going to do transformations we've, again we've done that but you can see he's got uh he's got the treads in the back that roll tires that roll on the front part of the truck and uh attached to the trailer here and the trailer's got all the same features we've seen before it tabs on back here um, it's got the spring-loaded uh, firing missiles Springs are actually in the. I, I don't think these are a really ingenious design with the spring inside the missile. Here's a smaller missile and stuff, and it's, it's fun. Um, you have the. Whoa! Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, here we go. Nope. Sorry about that. That's. <laughs> there we go. I fixed it. Um, the I have a. Up here above, I have a couple of spotlights and a couple of LED strips that are controlled by this remote. And I just put my elbow on it and uh, hit it in the wrong mode. So it was going, uh, it was doing a flashing mode or a strobe mode instead of just staying on. But anyway, here are the guns over here. Uh, there's big gun stores on the bottom. And transforms just the same. Oh, and knocked this gun off because I thumped it down too hard. But it just tabs on right here. You can store it on top. You can plug it in on top of the car or the truck. Uh, as well. The trailer, I guess. It's got the pods that come off. Uh, this one does have a black repaint of the little spark plug mini bot, which again will show off in robot mode when we transform it. And then the cab itself. It's the cab you're, you're used to seeing. It's got shiny uh, red uh, transparent plastic over a painted metallic silver underneath, or maybe that's molded in and then painted from the back, I don't know. But there's a silver layer underneath there. You can see the underside of the car, and it's actually fairly, I mean, if you know that you're looking at a matrix chamber down here, you can maybe say this is the torso of the robot, but it's actually fairly robot kibble-free, uh, at least nothing obvious. There's no obviously arms or hands or heads or anything under there. But yeah. Go ahead and get him into robot mode, and robot in base mode, and we'll show those off. And here he is in his base and smaller robot mode. Uh, ignore the whirring behind me. My dishwasher kicked on uh, as I was starting to shoot this review, so I apologize for any loud noises in the background. Uh, and I'm one-handed holding the camera here so it'll all fit in the frame, but you see we've got the smaller little uh, mini bot there in the black and red color scheme. Uh, the smaller version of the, or the core version of the robot uh, of Naval Commander, and then the base itself, which has a lot of little ramps and ways for the small robots to connect. He's got a little rotating turret. The missiles can fire there in the back and such. Um, you do get accessories with this. You get like the extra, the extra antenna for the helmet, um, as well as a different eyepiece for the combined mode and a small faceplate, which we're going to show off in just a second. Let me get this down and get just the core robot into view, and we'll focus on that for a little bit. All right, and here is the core robot himself. It is. Uh, Again, yeah, it's it's naval commander, the core robot of naval commander. Small, he can hold his uh, his giant rifle. He's got the smokestacks, all of the same articulation, and it functions are here on this version as well from the other versions. Let me see if I can. There we go. Holding his gun, but he's got you know ball joint neck, really nice movable neck, really poseable shoulders, uh, bicep swivel, hinged elbows, wrist swivel, the poseable fingers. Uh, you got index finger and then the other three, uh, waist swivel. Actually, got to unlock these tabs to get waist swivel, but he does have waist swivel. Um, I'm not going to try to fight it right now, but you can't unlock those to get waist swivel. Ratcheting hips, thigh swivel, toe, ankle tilt, 
uh, pretty much where you, everywhere you want him to move, he moves. Uh, you can also hold if you want to have him, give him the red saber team. It's a little on the big side for him, but uh, still looks cool. You want to get in there? It's got the same little, there you go, you got to get the groove in. There he is holding the red saber team. You can hold the sky boom shield too, but like the sky boom shield is almost as big as he is. <laughs> we'll show that off in the combined mode. But like I said, he does have this alternate zombified faceplate, um, which we'll pop on here and get it out of the baggie. Um, but let me get out of the baggie. I'll show it off and then we'll put it on. And here is the little damaged face. You can see one eye is blown out. The face plate's torn up. There's some damage on it. We'll go ahead and pop it onto the wrong head. You just pop out the other face plate, slide this one in, and uh, it's good to go. So we'll go ahead and put him on the robot, and then we'll show that off as well. And here he is with the uh, battle damaged head. You can see missing an eye. Face plate all messed up. Uh, let's see if I can get this other piece in. Uh, as compared to the black eyes and solid face plate that was on there previously. Um, so yeah, you don't need to put it on, but it's a nice little addition. And now on a super mode. And here he is in his super mode. And you can already get an idea of how I feel about him in the fact that I have, in fact, already put a Toy Hacks, uh, one of the 3D uh, Toy Hacks labels on him. And usually if I've if I'm reached the point of putting a Toy Hacks label on any of my figures, either whether it's a single faction emblem or buying the whole set and doing them up, it's definitely a pretty good indicator that I approve of the figure and it's probably going to hang around my collection for a bit. So, yeah, like I said, I've already said I love this mold. Naval Commander is such a fun toy. Um, I, like I said, I like the proportions of it. I like the design. This is a really striking deco on this toy. Like, I want to get the Shattered Glass one. Like, I have the, the original version. I have the Super Repaint version. And I have this version now. Um, I need to pick up the Shattered Glass one at some point because it really looks good as well, the purple Naval Commander. Um, I, I, the thing is, like, they keep trying to put the Shattered Glass Deco on like the standard G1 Cartoon Prime. And for whatever reason, it never really works for me. But every like G1 Prime or Optimus Prime that's not that standard G1, like even the original uh, Classics Optimus that they put that mold on, or they put that color scheme on, it just really pops on non-traditional Optimuses especially. And, and like I said, I've seen the per pictures of the purple one and it looks amazing, but all in all, I still really do love this mold. Like I keep thinking like, oh, it's another repaint of this one. And then I, I start playing with it and it's just so much fun and, and just gorgeous uh, in its design. Uh, you, you can disagree, that's my opinion. I just really, really like this one. He's chunky, he's big. I, I, I just really love the proportions of it and I'm really happy with it. Like more in the super mode, like the core robot has some flaws. Like I don't like the way that panel flips behind his head. Um, I can take issues with the core robot, but the super mode on this is just fantastic. But yeah, you can see here it is in, in, in uh, Scarlet's themes. He's got all the same posability. He's got all the ratcheting in the shoulders and the arms. He does have the light up eyes feature. Um, you can leave the metallic ones in. The metallic ones will light up a little bit. Um, you can pop in the clear red eyes that come with it. He's not currently lighting up because uh, I just realized as I was shooting this that uh, he had batteries in his head and then I stole them for uh, Agent Knight the other day <laughs> and have not put them back in. So that's that's on me. But like his eyes do light up just like the other ones. And again, if you'd like the more uh, classic antenna look, the steam pipe kind of looking antenna, you do get those. You don't have to have the fins. You can swap those out uh, when you're putting the batteries in if you want. Um, but yeah, all in all, just a really fantastic color scheme on, on an already solid figure that I that I liked quite a bit. Uh, anyway, uh, right now he's holding his gun. His gun, obviously, you can see it extends from his core robot mode, uh, just like before. We'll go, also go ahead and give him the uh, the red saber team and the sky boom shield or the shield team. So there he is holding red saber team, and then we'll pop this little. See if we can get this groove in. Like we're in the we're in the version that has the robot head on the back, so we might end up sliding it in. Let's see if we can get it in that groove properly. We did. All right. So there he is, holding both the, uh, the Sky Boom Shield or the Shield Team and the Red Saber Team. But yeah, really cool. 
it's it's another great repaint of what was already a really really solid figure from fans hobby i know that they've got their uh, big boat combiner guy to work with uh, meg tirano coming soon uh, they showed off pics of something else they're working on a, a pretender shell uh, metal hawk homage that looks really cool the way they're doing it there's something else there they were working on i saw pictures for recently that i was excited about but either way it's another solid release from fans hobby i don't know at this point that they have non-solid releases i know they're not for everybody but like some of the earlier figures had you know a couple of nitpicks a couple of nitpicks there um but i really feel like they've just been dialing it in they just showed off a beautiful uh, alternate colorway of the uh energy commander at uh they had a special one at tfcon baltimore that uh, uh used the grand scourge kit models or colors on them which uh, was previously only a model kit. You can only get it as a little Kabaya kit. And uh, it looked amazing. I haven't picked one up yet, but it really looks fantastic. Anyway, there is MB-15B Black Naval Commander from Fans Hobby. Uh, any version of this mold I think is worth picking up. Uh, all the decos look pretty solid on it, and it's just, just a lot of fun as a toy if you don't already have some version of it. Anyway, that's all. I hope you all are doing well. I uh, hope you all... This will probably hit, this, it won't be Thanksgiving week yet, but if I don't do any more videos before Thanksgiving, uh, I do hope you all have a great one and a lovely holiday time. I'm sure I'll have something before the end, before the end of December. I just don't have anything currently inbound to me that I'm aware of. So uh, we'll keep you up to date. But there is MB-15B Naval Commander, Black Naval Commander. Enjoy, take it easy. Ho hope all your lives are going great. I'm, I'm repeating myself over and over again, so I'm just going to say goodbye.